This is Curtis with New York Freedom Rally. I'm here with the amazing Uri. What brings you to New Jersey tonight? Hey, what brought me tonight here is uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. is the wonderful evening that uh, Ben organized, he, which he was talking about the relationship between misinformation from the past and how it relates to misinformation today, all with the uh, touching the um, religious and the God aspect of uh, what real truth is. Mm -hmm. Great. And you said you had some unique perspective that you uh, wanted to share yes. with me. Yes. So from the beginning of what they call now pandemic, and then the introduction of vaccine, um, when I began to actually look at how the events are folding, I realized that there's a lot of similarities be between what happened in Europe in the 1930s and 40s and what is happening today. Mm -hmm. How uh, Jew Jews were brainwashed to think that everything that has been done by the authorities or the governments is actually for their protection, okay? And um, I'm saying that if my mother and her family boarded, I mean, left their home and boarded a train to Auschwitz in the name of protection, how um, the system was able to influence them to do that and they actually thought that they are going to a place where there will not be anti-Semitism, there will not be uh, people who want to hurt them. And when I questioned my mother about this, or I remember that she questioned her family because she was only nine years old. And her family said to her, to her, we are Hungarian, we are patriots, why would a government of Hungary want to hurt us? For sure we're not going to a place where something bad is going to happen mm -hmm. to us. So misinformation from, um, this is about uh, 70, 80 years ago, mm -hmm. was so powerful that it was able to brainwash that generation from young to old to believe mm that everything that is going to happen for them is actually in their benefit. Mm. No one obviously told them about the ultimate goal of whoever decided mm. to implement that misinformation. Mm. And the way uh, events are folding these days, there's a lot of similarities. Um, but I will just touch one point that is a little personal for me. If uh, both my daughters, okay, which are in their early 20s, and my new daughter-in-law, okay, none of them have children. If they all were brainwashed to take a medicine that is right now during research that no one even knows what will happen to a uh, body mm -hmm. of a woman before they had kids, and all three of them are planning to have kids in the future, they are taking a um, vaccine that was developed over a period of five months, which, as we all know, it takes nine months for a child to be born. And if those three young women accepted the system that it is safe and it's good for them, it drives me crazy that they cannot think for themselves mm. and actually open their mouth and question. I'm saying question everything. Absolutely. You know, we, we've had such a rich history of Holocaust education and being Jewish and museums and education and what have you. But yet it seems that many in our community are sleeping at the wheel. What do you attribute this cognitive dissonance, this sleeping, this uh, laissez-faire attitude, this sort of checked out attitude? I contributed to the very, very smart, planned 
method that this misinformation was implemented of us. Um, if someone tells you, um, you know, a snowstorm is coming for your protection, stay home, because if you drive outside, uh, you may um, get into an accident. Uh, you're saying, yes, okay, but you know I need to go to work. If I don't get to work, I will lose my house. I don't have money to do. And then if someone pays you to stay home because it's gonna, it tells you there a storm is coming, you're saying to yourself, ooh, a storm must be coming because not only is telling me that, he's also paying me to think this way. So I attribute that to the ton of money that was floating around and was given to people, which if we have to go back to tonight's lesson, which we did not touch that point, it actually um, relates to the story of Adam and Eve that God told Adam, Bezeat apecha tuchal lechem which means you're going to have to work hard for your money, which is a principle for human beings in general, mm -hmm. not just for Jewish people, that if you don't work hard for something, you are obviously not going to uh, cherish that, that thing. So when someone pays you to do that and then gets you more and more and more money mm -hmm. to do people start to say, wait a second, not only they're paying me, I'm benefiting mm -hmm. from this whole situation, so I may as well go with the flow mm -hmm. because it benefits me. And I think if you look back at what happened in Europe, it did benefit all those non-Jews, obviously, with a system that were uh, basically cooperating with the government mm -hmm. and the authorities. It benefited them and basically hurt the Jewish people. And those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. Amen. Great. Thanks for your time. This is Uri and Curtis with New York Freedom Rally.